Hello all, in this video we will see how to enable UART on Raspberry Pi 3 B or B plus board and then interface with GSM. This is the Raspberry Pi 3 B plus board. The GSM used here is SIM 800. Use a valid SIM on the SIM 800 board and then power it up using a separate power adapter, a 12 volt 1 ampere. Wait for the network LED. Initially this network LED will blink fast and once it receives network, it blinks slowly. You can also call to this SIM number and then verify the ringback tone. We will be using RX, TX and ground pins of uh, SIM 800 to connect with that of the Raspberry Pi. The GSM pins are at 5V TTL level. And the Raspberry Pi GPO pins are at 3.3V level. So a level shifter is uh, required in between. Pin 8 of uh, Raspberry Pi is uh, TX pin and pin 10 is uh, RX pin. Uh, remember these pins are 3.3 uh, volt uh, tolerant and you cannot uh, directly connect to uh, GSM pins. The TX of uh, Raspberry Pi can be connected directly to GSM RX. Yes, uh, GSM RX will uh, accept 3.3 as high. You can directly connect this uh, pin. But while connecting RX of RPI to TX of GSM, a level shifter is required in between. A signal diode 1 and 4 and 4 8 and a resistor 10K resistor is used as a level shifter. The Raspberry Pi's RX is pulled high to 3.3 volt using the 10K resistor and the signal diode 4 and 4 8 is used in between the TX and RX pins of Raspberry Pi and GSM. When the TX level is uh, 0, that is uh, TX pin of GSM is 0, then this uh, diode is forward biased and the 0 level is available at the RX of uh, Raspberry Pi. When the TX of GSM is high, this uh, diode is uh, acts as open and then the 3.3 volt level is available at uh, RX through the 10K resistor. Now let us prepare the Raspbian OS on SD card. A class 10 uh, SD card is recommended and a memory uh, card reader is used. I use uh, HR program to write the Raspbian OS uh, image on the SD card. Prepare the image uh, using uh, HR software. And then open the uh, drive. Now we have to create a file named SSH without any file extension. For this, uh, under view, untick the uh, file extension and then right click and create a text document. Name it as SSH. On first boot, the Raspbian OS will look out for this name SSH and when it finds it uh, finds one, it uh, enables the secure shell and then deletes the name SSH. This is how to enable SSH in a headless mode. Now use this uh, SD card to boot the Raspberry Pi and connect the RJ45 cable to that of uh, PC. We will be using the direct link method uh, so that we can use a putty SSH client to access Raspberry Pi. You can uh, view my previous video on how to do this. Now let us connect the uh, GSM TX or X pins with that of uh, Raspberry Pi. The level shifter used here is a simple 1 and 4 and 4 diode and a 10K resistor. The Raspberry Pi's uh, RX pin is pulled high to 3.3 volt uh, through this 10K resistor. The pin 1 of Raspberry Pi is 3.3 volt. Always be cautious while connecting with the GPO pins of Raspberry Pi. Any wrong connection will render Raspberry Pi uh, defective. The ground pin of uh, Raspberry Pi is connected to ground of uh, GSM. The RX of GSM can be directly connected to TX of uh, Raspberry Pi. As GSM will accept 3.3 volt level as uh, high, it can be directly connected. The level shifter is used between uh, RX of Raspberry Pi 
and uh, Tx of Gsm. This 4148 diode uh, is used in between and uh, 10K resistor is used to pull high to 3.3 volt. The new uh, Raspberry Pi boards uh, have two uh, serial ports TTY AMA0 and TTY S0. In older versions of Raspberry Pi, this TTY AMA0 was allotted to serial port. But on newer versions, this uh, TTY AMA0 has been taken over by the Bluetooth hardware. So TTY S0 is allotted to serial, but by default, this is not enabled. We have to do it manually. For this uh, CD, uh, space forward slash dev and then ls uh, space hyphen l to list the devices here you can see only tty ama0 is enabled and you do not see tty s0 this tty s0 can be enabled through raspi config uh, gui interface but we'll be in editing config.txt file to enable it to edit config.txt use sudo nano and then uh, forward slash boot forward slash config.txt the config.txt uh, file is open scroll down to the end of the file and then add this line enable underscore uart equal to 1 add this line and then uh, control x to exit and then S to save the file. Now reboot the uh, Raspberry Pi using sudo reboot. Restart the putty session. And then login as uh, default user pi and password as uh, Raspberry. Now again list the devices cd space forward slash dev and then ls hyphen l to list the devices. Now you can see both the ports tty ama0 and then tty s0. Serial 0 is uh, enabled. This is called mini uart serial 0. We will be using a terminal program called picocom. To test the AT commands. To install picocom, use uh, sudo apt hyphen get install picocom. Now the picocom uh, terminal program is being installed. Now let us start the picocom terminal uh, program. Picocom and then a double hyphen baud will be using a baud rate of 9600 and then the device name that is a serial port name forward slash dev forward slash tty s0 once you get the terminal ready uh, you can type in at to get ok feedback if no response is there uh, double check the uh, level shifter uh, connections and the connections between raspberry pi and uh, gsm now AT commands can be typed and you get the response. ATD, uh, a phone number and iPhone. Uh, ATD, phone number and a semicolon will call the uh, GSM number and ATH will hang the call. AT plus CMGF equal to 1 enables text mode of GSM and AT plus CMGS equal to uh, phone number uh, to send SMS and a double quote. Once you get the greater than symbol, type in the message to send and then press Control Z to send the SMS. Now the SMS is uh, being sent. To quit uh, Picocom, use Control A plus Q. Now let us uh, create a Python file to send this uh, AT commands automatically. For this uh, use sudo nano and then uh, uh, .py file, dial.py file. In this first we import uh, python modules, rpi.gpio module and then uh, serial module and time module. And then we define the serial port as uh, tty s0 
and we use the function uh, serial function of uh, this module with parameters uh, serial port and baud rate and timeout we use the write function of uh, uh, scr uh, um, module to send the at commands and a sleep function for a delay save this uh, python file to execute the python file just uh, type in python and the uh, .py file name here it is dial.py now you can see uh, uh, the program is calling the number and then hangs after uh, some time automatically the at commands are sent and you can see the result now let us write a program to send sms first we import the modules uh, python modules rpa.gpo serial and then time module and then we define the serial port tty s0 and the serial function is uh, initiated with uh, parameters serial port number baud rate and timeout uh, write function is used to send at commands notice the usage of uh, backward slash r after each at command this is a must we have to use backward slash r carriage written after each at command and if you want to send a double quote that is uh, at plus cmgs we have to send uh, uh, phone number within double quotes here we use single quotes so that uh, uh, full command is sent save this file and then uh, use python sms.py to call the program uh, you can see the at commands uh, sent one by one and finally sms is sent thank you for watching